Here we will learn how to enroll users in your Moodle course page. I think you understood now what's the difference between this adding and enrolling users in Moodle. Adding means just add users in your Moodle site. Enrolling means enroll the added users in your course page. Teachers can enroll these students in their respective courses. So here also two options are there. First one is manual enrolling. You can enroll students manually then self enrollment methods which means students can enroll into a particular course using enrollment key. In this workshop also you enroll into this course using enrollment key which is which comes under the self enrollment methods because more than 2000 participants are there so it is very difficult for us to enroll all these 2000 participants manually so we use this self enrollment method so you enrolled these courses by yourself using self enrollment keys we will learn these two process now first one manual enrollment method Go to your Moodle course page now, kshsp.gnmao.com, then login with your credentials. I am typing my username and password here. Now I enter into my course page home. From the site home, first I want to access my course, which is this Moodle track. So from the site home, you will get your Moodle course page, Moodle track. Here in the navigation pan on the left side under Moodle trial you can see participants so click on the participants there which will give you the information regarding the number of participants in your course page so click participants so you can see the number of participants zero so we need to enroll students into this course page for that you can use first we are using our manual enrollment method by using this enroll uses button just click this enroll uses button here you, you find another window in this window you must check the assigned row here it is displayed as student so if you click on that you can see different roles so these roles mean different role enjoy different rights. Student is less privileged group and manager is more privileged group which means manager or teacher have the editing power. It is not desirable to give editing power to students because then the students can edit the course content. So if you want to add a user as student just check whether the assigned role is student so it is a must so i am checking so the assigned role is student then i click this down button or just type student username so you can see student demo student gmail.com so all of you must enroll that added user with username student into your course page so you have to do two activities first you need to add a user with student username then you must enroll that user into there into your course page so don't forget to do these two activities add user in the Moodle set also enroll that user with username student in your course page then only we can access or your course page and assess the activities you have done in your Moodle course page. So I am enrolling the user with username student as student role. Then click enroll users. This is how you can enroll student in your course page manually. Now you can see the number of participants, one, which means one student has been enrolled into this course, student demo. So you need to check this student demo with username student need to be enrolled in your course page. So if you want to add more students, 
you have to click enroll users if I want to add all the students in my BSc course just click BSc then you can find BSc BSc that's why I use the surname as BSc semester 5 so you have to manually add all these students so in this way you can add, you can enroll the students in your course manually next we will learn the self enrollment method for that you can see a setup button here just click that button so click that enrollment methods here so click that setup button and click enrollment methods here you can find add method option in that select self enrollment so for activating this self enrollment method click that setup button enrollment method then self enrollment here you have to add an enrollment key here so i am giving an enrollment key as trial so for the students default assigned role as student add method so it will give provision to student to enroll into this course with this enrollment key trial if you activate this method no need to enroll student in your course page just give just provide the enrollment key to your students and ask them to enroll into the particular course page using the respective enrollment key this is, this is the easiest method to enroll students in your course page the number of students are huge it is a better way to enroll student in your course page hope you now understand how to add users in your Moodle site and how to enroll in users in your course page. Thank you. If you have any doubts, please share your comments in our Telegram group because if you are using the Moodle for the first time, it is very difficult for you to follow these activities. So don't get tense. Just share your doubts in your Telegram group. We are here to help you. Just share your doubts we can rectify so thank you for your patient listening thank you all